See a sum on quadratic equations. We know that there are three methods to solve any quadratic equation which is of the form of ax square plus bx plus c. The three methods are factorization method, second method is completing the square method and third method is quadratic formula method which is also known as discriminant method. In today's video we will see a problem on method of factorization or it is also called as method of splitting or splitting the middle term method. Question is from SSC TS SER textbook from exercise 5.2 first question 9th bit the question is solve the following method of prime factorization 9th bit 3 into x minus 4 whole square minus 5 into x minus 4 is equals to 12 clearly I can see that it is not in standard form of ax square plus bx plus c so I will reduce this equation to the form of ax square plus bx plus c how to reduce it I know x minus 4 whole square is of the form of a minus b whole square where a is x and b is 4 this is my algebraic identity x minus 4 whole square is the form of x minus uh, a minus b whole square i know a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab so i'll write it in the form of a is x here so x square a square plus b square b, b is 4 here so 4 square minus 2ab so 2 into a is x and b is 4 okay minus since there are brackets here, I will multiply this 5 in the brackets. That is minus 5 into x will give me minus 5x and minus 5 into minus 4 will give me 5 fours are 20. And here minus into minus is plus. That is equals to 12. So now I'll simplify this. x squared is as it is. 4 fours are 16 minus 2 into x is 2x. 2 fours are 8. So 2 fours are 8. 8 into x is 8x minus 5x plus 20 is equals to 12 okay now since i have bracket here this 3 belongs to all the three terms first term into first term that is 3 into x square is 3x square first term into second term that is 16 3 is a 3 6 are 18 3 1 is a 3 3 plus 1 is 4 48 minus 3 8 is a 24x minus 5x plus 20 is equals to 12 okay now I have only one x square term, I'll write it as it is 3x square. Now see what are the x terms. I should have first x square term, then x term and then c term according to quadratic formula, standard form. So x square term I wrote, now I need x term. Here I have minus 24x, here I have minus 5x. I know when signs are same, add. What is 24 plus 5? 24 plus 5 is 29. So minus 29x. This is number, this is number. 20 plus 48. 8 plus 0 is 8 and 4 plus 2 is 5, 6. 68 is equals to 12 okay now 3x square minus 29x plus 68 there is one more constant term here 12 so plus 12 if it goes outside becomes minus 12 that is equals to 0 i should have is equals to 0 on the rhs of standard formula okay so it is 3x square minus 29x 1 is plus 1 is minus means subtract what is 68 minus 12 8 minus 2 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 56 and here I have bigger number sign is plus 68 is bigger than 12 so I'll write plus 56 is equals to 0 now observe the equation it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c now I can split the middle term remember in factorization method or simply uh, sim in splitting the middle term method you have to find out the sum and the product I said in my quadratic formulas video also you can go and check out so sum I'm indicating by s and product I'm indicating by p sum is always the middle term okay so first I'll compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c comparing with ax square plus bx plus c okay what is a if i compare a is 3 b is minus 29 c is 56 compare this with the standard form so a is 3 b is minus 29 and c is 56 so what is my sum always sum is a middle term there is nothing but minus 29 and what is product always product is a term into c term so here a is 3 and c term is 56 okay so what is 56 3 is a 3 6 are 18 3 5 is a 15 15 plus 1 is 168 so 168 so i should choose the factors of 168 in such a way that i will get the sum as minus 29 okay so what are the factors of 168 take out the lcm and find out the factors of 168 
टू टू जा फोर टू वन जा टू थ्री सेवन जा ट्वेंटी वन सेवन वन जा सेवन ओके टू टू जा फोर फोर टू जार एट एट थ्री जा ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट इज ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस सेवन सेवन प्लस फोर इज इलेवन नो आई नॉट गेट द आंसर थ्री सेवन जा ट्वेंटी वन टू टू जा फोर फोर टू जार एट ट्वेंटी वन प्लस एट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन सी हियर टू टू जा फोर फोर टू जार एट आई एम गेटिंग एट हियर ओके मैंने मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू टू जा फोर फोर टू जार एट एम गेटिंग एट हियर एंड मैंने मल्टीप्लाई दीज बोथ थ्री सेवन जा ट्वेंटी वन सो एम हैविंग ट्वेंटी वन एंड एट सो ट्वेंटी वन एट जा वन सिक्सटी एट एंड ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी वन प्लस एट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन एज यू कैन सी हियर ओके ट्वेंटी वन प्लस एट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन सो आई कैन टेक द फैक्टर्स एज वॉट आर माई फैक्टर्स हियर एट एंड ट्वेंटी वन ओके बट हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व और यू कैन राइट ट्वेंटी वन एंड एट फर्स्ट ओके सो इफ आई टेक ऑफ द फैक्टर्स एज ट्वेंटी वन एंड एट हियर बट हियर आई हैव माइनस साइन इन केस ऑफ सम वैन आई हैव माइनस साइन इन केस ऑफ सम एंड प्लस एंड इन केस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट आई नीड टू टेक बोथ द फैक्टर्स एज माइनस Because when signs are same, add twenty one plus eight is twenty nine, and because number sign is minus, so I need to take the factors as minus twenty one and minus eight. Okay, as I have minus sign here, I'm taking the factors as minus twenty one and minus eight because bigger number sign always you have to see in sum. Okay, and minus into minus is plus plus one sixty eight. So it is satisfied. So how to do splitting the middle term? Whatever term middle term here you have minus twenty nine x instead of minus twenty nine x write down minus twenty one x and minus three that is you have to remove this middle term and write down that so three x square as it is instead of minus twenty nine x I'm going to write minus twenty one x minus eight x that is these two are the factors right plus fifty six is equals to zero so from these both take out three common and x is also common during these both take out x common If I take three common and x common here, what is left? Only one x term is left because x into x is x square. Already three I took common, I took x common, so only x is left minus. Here I took three common from this, so three seven is a twenty one. What is left? Only seven is left, and already I took x common, so nothing is left. Now again, between these both, I know eight seven is a fifty six, and here eight is there, so take eight common, and whatever here you are having in bracket, that same thing you write down here. So here I have x minus seven, so here also I will write x minus seven is equals to zero. Here I have minus sign, so minus eight into x minus seven is equals to zero. Now here I have three x, here I have minus eight, so three x minus eight, and here I have x minus seven. Here also I have x minus seven, so take that common, x minus seven is equals to zero. Now always remember here I have three x, here I have minus eight, so write that in one bracket, and from these both write take it as common. So always in splitting the middle term, this should be equated to zero, and this should also be equated to zero. So three x minus eight is equals to zero, and x minus seven is equals to zero. So three x as it is is equals to minus eight. If it goes outside, becomes plus eight. X is equals to eight by three. And here I have minus seven. If it goes outside, becomes plus seven. So the method was finding out factorization by factorization method. I had to find out the roots. I got the roots as eight by three and seven. So whatever, right? Therefore, roots are Eight by three comma seven. This is my answer. Hope you have understood the video. Thank you for watching.